I used to hate writing. Journaling? Yeah, no thanks. It felt pointless, time consuming, and honestly, annoying. But a few years ago, during Melbourne's lockdown, which was, I guess, five years ago now, I hit rock bottom. I was spiraling with anxiety, my thoughts were eating me alive, I'd wake up with my heart pounding, red rashes on my neck, feeling completely overwhelmed. And that's when I forced myself to start writing. And guess what? It sucked. But I kept going and then something changed. Over time, I realized I was actually checking off my goals. My thoughts were less overwhelming, it felt clearer, Karma, and I felt in control. And it turns out that there's scientific proof behind this. Journaling is not just self help or fluff, it's a tool that can literally rewire your brain. So, in this video, I'm going to break down the science of journaling, why it works, how writing just one sentence a day can change your brain, and I'll tell you about my 10 prompt method that takes only five minutes a day. So, why does journaling actually work? It's all about neuroplasticity, I'm saying it now, I've said it before. Every time you write, you're strengthening neural pathways that help with memory, focus, and emotional regulation. A study published in Nature Neuroscience found that writing activates the prefrontal cortex, the part of your brain responsible for decision making, planning, and goal setting. And get this, people who write their goals daily are 42% more likely to achieve them than those who don't. That's because journaling taps into your reticular activating system, the RAS, the brain's filter that directs your focus. The more you write, the more your brain pays attention to making it happen. Okay, I get it. We live in a digital age. Why not just type instead of writing by hand? Well, science says handwriting is superior. A study published in Frontiers in Psychology found that handwriting activates deeper cognitive processing compared to typing. And another 2022 study from Princeton showed that students who handwrote their notes retained 25% more information than those who typed. So, if you want journaling to work, Write it down. Your brain will actually absorb and encode the information much better. Now, let me walk you through my super simple neuroscience fact journaling method that takes just five minutes a day. We have three daily non-negotiables. So the first one of them being goals. My goal is, and you mention these goals in relation to family, business, well-being, whatever suits you, but covering different areas of your life. And this trains your brain to focus on success. Two, affirmations. I am. Rewire self-belief and confidence. Focus on the things that you want to embody. And three, gratitude. I am grateful for this boosts mood and lowers stress. The rest are seven flexible prompts that you can write on thoughts and feelings, to-do lists, challenges and solutions, creative insights, big ideas, lessons learned, and anything else on your mind. This method has been a game changer for me. And if you try it just for three days, I promise you, you'll feel a shift. Listen, I know this seems annoying, tedious, maybe even pointless. I used to think that too, but after years of doing it, I can tell you it's one of the most powerful tools I've ever used to change my mindset, rewire my brain, and actually see progress in my life. So here's my challenge to you. Write one sentence a day for the next three days. That's it. And if you feel even 1% better, keep going. Drop a comment below and tell me, do you journal? If not, what's stopping you? And if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button, subscribe for more science backed strategies and share this with someone who you think might need this. Also, I have a blog up, so if you want to delve deeper into this information, then go ahead and look at the caption. Thank you so much for watching.